Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the OPI Pop Culture Collection. There are six polishes here all together, and these are actually new textured polishes from OPI. These, I guess, they were supposed to look like bubbles or like, I don't know, fizzy, bubble, pop, rocky, I don't really understand exactly, but they are textured polishes. So these came from polishpick.com, which I will link down below. Six polishes all together, and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Hate to Burst Your Bubble, and this is a bright yellow with a golden shimmer. All of these polishes have shimmer in them, but I find they are pretty hard to pick up on the nail once the texture has dried down. You can see it if you look very closely, and some of them stand out more than others, but overall you don't get a lot of shimmer on the nail. So this is pretty sheer on that first coat. It is a yellow, so that's not super surprising. You can see it looks a little bit uneven there, and that's those texture particles coming through. The formula is good on this one. It's not too thick or too thin. It just, when it's wet especially, it just looks super chunky and gross, at least on that first coat. So you can see how that texture is starting to stick up quite a bit there. The color is still pretty sheer though, and even on that second coat, I can still see a good amount of nail line. A lot of these colors do take three coats to build up, and I feel like after that third coat, there's just enough polish, there's, or I should say there's too much polish on the nail, and the texture doesn't stand out quite as much as it does in the earlier coats. When I was doing my swatch pictures, I thought I just wasn't giving the polish enough time to dry for the texture to really come out, but I ended up sitting there for like a half an hour with the same polish on after three coats, and it just wasn't getting any more textured than it was shortly after I put it on. So you can see we are getting a little bit more texture with that second coat. can still see my nail line a bit with the second, so I'm going to add the third. If I remember correctly from my swatch pictures, the third coat didn't quite cover up my nail line completely either, but it wasn't very obvious. So I am going to let this dry down a little bit. So that is three coats after two minutes of dry down time. I find that after you add that third coat, you really don't get too much more texture than this, even after a longer amount of time. I will say that it has a good shine to it. It's not um, matte at all. It doesn't dry dull like a lot of texture polishes do. I can still see my nail line a bit, and I can't really pick out any of that shimmer. The biggest thing that's weird with these compared to other texture polishes that I've used might be how sheer the bases are, how like jelly-ish the bases are. It makes the little shimmer, shimmer, the texture particles that are in there kind of stick, I don't know, stick up through the base, and they do actually look like little bubbles, like they have kind of a sheer, clear look to the very top of them, which I guess makes sense because that's kind of the whole point of the collection. So that is three coats of Hate to Burst Your Bubble. The next color is this light purple with blue shimmer, and this is called Pop Star. So this one is also very sheer on that first coat. When it's wet and that texture hasn't really shown up yet, I can actually pick out that blue shimmer. And since this is more of a contrasting shimmer, I'm hoping that this will stand out a little bit more, or at least be able to see it at all, once it's completely dried down. And good formula on this one as well. It's good, and I should have mentioned this with the yellow, I wasn't even thinking about it, but overall I do think that these are a little bit on the thin side. Not too thin, but just I'm kind of surprised at um, how thin they feel compared to other texture polishes that I've used. In my experience, texture polishes usually run a little bit thicker, but at the same time, they also are usually a little bit more, like, sandpapery versus this, I don't know, I feel like the texture in this just isn't as dense as other texture polishes. It's like this is a regular polish with little texture sprinkled in rather than a full-blown textured polish. I know that makes no sense, but these are just so confusing and I don't even know how to talk about them. So this one does build up pretty well on the second coat, much better than the yellow. I know it's probably going to dry a little bit more sheer than it looks right now, so I'm going to let it dry down before I call it, but I might be good with this one in two coats. And if you look very, very closely, you can pick out that blue shimmer. It's really fairly obvious when the polish is wet, but once it dries and all the texture is evident, it kind of distracts from being able to pick out any shimmer. Okay, so I'm actually going to call this one good in two coats. I have virtually no nail line that I can pick out at all. If you look very, very closely, you can see that blue shimmer, but like I said, all of the bumps from the texture make it really hard to focus on it. So that is two coats of Pop Star. The next polish is called Pink Bubbly, and this is a medium pink with pink shimmer. And this one is sheer on the first coat, but not super sheer. 
I have definitely noticed with all of these polishes, the texture particles, I think, they're just a little bit big. Just enough that they will hang over the edge of the nail a little bit, and sometimes you have to push them back to where they're supposed to be to avoid that kind of ragged look. So this one does cover completely in two coats. Just like the other ones, if you look very closely in the little spaces between the texture particles, you can make out some of that shimmer. But just looking at the polish, it doesn't look like it has any shimmer in it. So after two minutes of drying down, that is two coats of Pink Bubbly. So the next polish is called OPI Pops, and this is a red with a bit of a red shimmer. So this one is pretty jelly-ish and sheer on that first coat. I do think it's going to build up okay in two, if I remember correctly, though. It is very, like, squishy looking. Very, very jelly in the base. And a good formula on this one as well. A little bit thin, just for what I'm used to with textured polishes. But all the polishes in this collection have felt pretty much the same for application. So this one does cover in two coats, and that does brighten the color quite a bit. Same as the other polishes, you can see that shimmer a little bit if you look really closely, but it doesn't stand out, I think, enough for it to even be in there. And I haven't mentioned this, but obviously you could put top coat over these if you wanted to smooth them out, but I don't think the colors are that unique that it would be worth buying these polishes just to wear top coat over them. I also think it would be kind of a pain because you would probably need more than one coat of top coat to smooth it out. So looking very closely at this after it's dried down, I'm good with two coats because I do have a little bit of nail line, but it's very, very minor. If you are really picky or if your nail line is a lot whiter than mine, a lot longer than mine, you'll probably end up needing three coats for this one. But that is two coats of OPI Pops. The next polish is called Days of Pop, and this is a kind of medium blue with blue shimmer. So this one is pretty sheer on that first coat, especially for being a blue. It's like as sheer as the yellow was, which is kind of surprising. It also seems, and I could be totally wrong here, because it's been a little while since I did my pictures, but it seems like it has a little bit less of those little texture particles in it on that first coat than the other ones have. And again, good formula. Not too thin, but a little bit on the thin side. So this one is still a bit sheer on that second coat. Not terrible, but just enough that I think I'm going to add a third. Because I can still see my nail line pretty well when it's wet, and I know it's going to dry a little bit more sheer than it is now. To say one good thing about these is I am impressed with how shiny they dry. Because some texture polishes dry really dull, and they look so much better with top coat over them, but you can't put top coat over them because then you lose the texture. So I am happy that these dry shiny. So this one it does cover completely for me in three coats, and it does have the same amount of, after a few coats, I can see where it has the same amount of texture as the other polishes. I'm not sure, maybe just something with that really sheer blue kind of hid the particles from my eyes a little bit. So in the first coat, it didn't look like it had nearly as much. So that is three coats of Days of Pop. And the last polish is called Bumpy Road Ahead, and this is a darker blue with a kind of like greeny blue shimmer to it. So this one is a little bit sheer, a little bit jelly-ish on that first coat, but it is a dark color, so it should build up pretty well. And this is the only color in the bunch that the shimmer really does stand out decently well after it's dried down. I think that's just because it is so much of a darker color and the shimmer does contrast a little bit. I also feel like the formula is just slightly less thin in this one than in the other ones. So this one it does cover completely in two coats, and it does deepen that color quite a bit. And with texture polishes like these, you always tend to need a little bit of a thicker second coat, or a thicker coat if you're going over a previous coat, if that makes sense. Just because the texture kind of eats up the polish, just like uh, glitter would eat up a top coat. So that is two coats of a Bumpy Road Ahead. So I am like a little confused about what OPI was trying to do here. I do have to give credit where it's due for doing something different. I appreciate any time a mainstream brand does something a little bit different. My favorite is going to be Days of Pop just because I really, really like this shade of blue. I wasn't a huge fan of the texture in any of the polishes, so I'm choosing my favorite based on shade. I also do appreciate that there were two blues in a six-piece collection, which is kind of exciting rather than a lot of pinks and reds. But yeah, Days of Pop is going to be my favorite just because I do really like the shade. So that is the OPI Pop Culture Collection. Again, those came from polishpick.com, so I will link that website down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.